if x and y are positive, is x less than 10 and y greater than 10? So the first statement tells us that x is less than y and that x times y is 100. Now this is interesting because 10 times 10 is 100. And so it means if we make the two numbers unequal, then we have to make one smaller than 10 and the other bigger than 10. And in fact, whatever ratio the first one is divided by, the second one has to be multiplied by so that the product stays the same. And since y is the bigger one, y is bigger than x, that means that y is necessarily bigger than 10 and x is necessarily smaller than 10. And so this statement requires a yes answer to the prompt question. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Now leaving that aside, moving to statement number two. Statement number two, we have x squared is less than 100 is less than y squared. Well, here's an amazing little fact about inequalities. As long as we know that we're dealing with positive numbers, so suppose a is bigger, c is bigger than b, bigger than a, and they're all positive, well, then it is always true that squaring preserves the order of inequality. So whatever order the inequality is, when you square, things remain in that order. And again, this is always true as long as we're guaranteed all numbers are positive. Well, here we know that x and y are positive. So we can take a square root of this, and it will have the same order. As long as you take the positive square root, everything will have the same order. And this also is equivalent to a yes answer to the prompt question. So this statement also is sufficient. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice D.